What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan and today we are doing another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. We are making the letter J. We're making the letter J today in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for joining me. Everything about me is in the description below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. All of these Adobe Illustrator files will be available on Christmas Day because it's Christmas. So make sure to subscribe for that. Like this video. Smash it if that's what you're into. Thank you for watching. Let's get started. Today we are making the letter J. I have just a 1920 by 1080 document open here. Today we are going to cheat and we are going to use the type tool. I know, this is terrible. So we're going to create a capital J here, hit escape, click and drag, holding shift and alt at the same time, make this a little bigger. Whoops. Move this over into place. Center that up on the artboard just because. Now we're going to right click. So for this font, actually, I'm using this OCR BSTD. No idea what that is. I don't even remember where I got it. Uh, I think it's an Adobe. I think it's an Adobe specific font. Anyways, so we're going to right click on this, create outlines, and now it is no longer text. Now it is a shape. We're going to click on this guy over here. Now we're going to do it on this one. We're going to drag this in, make that a nice looking shape. Then we're going to do the same thing on this guy, drag that in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle. We're going to click here and click about here. The size is something you can choose. The only reason I did that is so that it is the same width as this. So now we're going to rotate that around. So click here, holding shift locks it into 45 degree increments. Hitting A for our direct selection tool. We're going to grab this corner in this corner and drag these in put that somewhere about there now we're going to make this a different color whoops get off the stroke get that over to fill we're going to make this like this blue color this blue color that way it's a little easier to see and we're going to hit p for our pen tool go to black so it is really easy to see now we're going to click here and click here Let's make it go. Actually, let's go further down here. Escape. Control Z to undo that. We're going to do it down here. And I started there and right about there. Swap this around so it is just a stroke. Now we're going to hit V. We're going to drag over both of those objects. We're going to go to Pathfinder. Hit Divide. Right click ungroup now you should have two separate shapes if you don't have two separate shape if you don't have two separate shapes let me know in the comments and i will try to help so now we're going to add a gradient to this guy we're going to use some of these stock colors so that everyone can use the same colors i guess And let's use this darker color. Let's use this dark blue right there. Hit G. Oops. Select the shape. Hit G to modify the gradient. Get it looking the way you want it to look. I think something like that looks good. And now we're going to click on this one. Hit I. And then we can copy the gradient over. Hit G. I want this to go the other way. Kind of like something like that. Now we're going to select this bottom piece, hit control C, control shift V, and this makes a duplicate. This makes a copy and then paste it in place. Now we're going to swap these around. We're going to change the stroke to black so that we can see it. Make this a little thicker, make this like five. Now we're going to hit C. This brings up our scissors or our cut tool. We're going to cut it there and we're going to cut it here now hit v select this path hit backspace or delete now we can click on this path go to stroke go to profiles go here now we can select this gradient for this stroke as well but i'm going to make a new point in the middle and make it white oops we're going to drag these over so the white isn't Picking up so much space. Probably go up a little bit. Oops. We can drag that up a little bit. 
So it's kind of more in the middle here. That looks nice. Now we're going to click on this piece, hit I. And that actually looks good. I think I'm just going to leave that alone. So now we're going to hit click on this one, click shift and click shift and holding shift this entire time clicking on this piece as well. You don't want to duplicate this stroke for this part. So now hit control C, control shift V. And now, oh, the stroke is gone. Well, it created a copy of those shapes over in place where those just were. So now we want to arrange and we're going to send them to the back. We're going to change them to black. We're going to drag this over just a little bit. Oops, I was on the, I was on the stroke over here. So make sure you're on fill. Now change it to black. Now go to effect, go down to blur, Gaussian blur. That'll create a nice looking shadow. We're a very professional looking logo and you're done. Thank you for watching. That concludes today's video. I appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to download all 26 Adobe Illustrator files of every letter we've created. Make sure to hit the subscribe button or click on one of these links that will bring you to the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next one.